Well, hey, y'all, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back, y'all. My name is Elle, and this is my perspective. Before I get started, I know this might look like the same shirt, but it's not. This is the one I wore yesterday. Because <laughs> y'all know sometimes you got them mamas that be like, are you going to wear them shirts? Yes, I'll wear them. So it's on YouTube that I wore them. If you never see them again, I can at least say I wore them, right? Okay, moving on. So while I was in Medina, Mexico, y'all, I'm still here. I'm still here. Um, the Stuff has changed on that too. But anyway, let's get back to the topic at hand. So while I was here in Medina, Mexico, when I say here, I meant in the apartment that I just left, it was technically a condo. But while I was there, y'all, I know I kept telling y'all that I was dealing with some stuff and it was messing with me mentally. Bugs, like bugs. I sprayed at least once a month. And the the spraying that I did took care of most of the things. It was like the smallest things that the poison wouldn't take care of. And y'all remember when I said uh, yesterday in the video about getting my deposit back so the owner was taking things out. One thing that she did take out was that poison. So I had Raid. I had some Banyan. Those are going to be like spray cans. But then I had some H24. Those are in glass bottles. That stuff right there, yeah. It was time for me to spray when my mama was here. My mama was like, I kid you not. Growing up, that woman would spray like malathion and diazinine. If y'all don't know what it is, it's because it's banned in the United States, right? But we, I'm spraying this that came off the shelf. I guess technically what she sprayed came off the shelf. Anyway, it's real strong, but it's not killing these things. And uh, we were also bleaching down the walls. So... Yes, we changed the bleach over, but even with the, the stronger bleach, nothing was working. I don't know what's going on. Um, when you deal with bugs and you don't know where the hell they're coming from, and I suspect they were on the walls, right? So the walls at in the condo were white. Um, yeah, stuff blends in. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about so that y'all can get a better understanding if you know what these things are or anything then let me know before i push play y'all should be able to see it right now but before i push play i want to explain this is while i'm packing right this bottle right here this bottle used to be like um it was either eucalyptus or rosemary. Like I love my essential oils. So that was a huge bottle because I do stuff with the essential oils. So this bottle, <laughs> even though that's what it is, it is actually Everclear in that bottle. I use Everclear to uh, make my own hand sanitizer or a room spray. The reason I'm telling you this is because this bottle is not about to collect dust. This right here is hot sauce. It is the Valentina hot sauce. I was actively using this up until maybe, um, I don't know, a little bit prior to me uh, taking this video. This right here came out the cabinet above. I was supposed to be taking the lid off of it. It's unopened. I was supposed to be taking the lid off and pouring it down the, the drain. It came when sometimes when you order Rappi or the different food delivery places, they'll send you a drink. A drink is included. I'm not drinking these drinks. They're real small. But anyway, I was going to take the lid off and pour it out before I threw the bottle in the trash. This bottle right here. It has Everclear in it. I did not want to pack the Everclear in this big bottle. I had a smaller bottle that I was actually going to pour the Everclear, the remaining Everclear into to um, then take it with me in a much smaller uh, container. And again, when you put the Everclear, mix it up, like do your, do your best, do your thing. But when you mix it up, you can actually put it in a pump and it's easier to do it that way and to pump it. Y'all see my finger to um, pump the spray into your hand. It gives more coverage and it's not a, an absorbent amount of Everclear or hand sanitizer. So that's my preferred method. And anyway, y'all, the end of the story is I'm packing, right? I'm supposed to be packing. These bottles have not been on this on this counter for long. Maybe for especially this Everclear, maybe two days, um, maybe two days. So let's get with it. Everything that you see on the counter is either going to be unopened or freshly used. Like even though this Everclear had been sitting there for, I say a max of two days. The Everclear may have been sitting there for a max of two days, um, 
I had just used it prior to to pour into another bottle to make a room spray. So pay attention. If y'all need glasses, uh, put them on. So I'm looking at this bottle because I shouldn't have dust. Okay, that's that's the point. I shouldn't have dust anywhere. Do y'all see these mamma jammas? This shit is moving. I mean, this stuff is moving. Those are bugs. It's not freaking dust. Like the entirety, they're bugs. And this over here, like I said, it's, I shouldn't have no dust. It's a cluster of them. They're on all of the bottles, y'all. Every last one of those bottles. And of course, you know, I got baby GDs. I'm not touching shit. Like, what is this? But yeah, look at all of them. They just, it's so nasty, y'all. It's a whole damn family. It's, it's a colony of, I, I don't know what it is. And like I said, it it just nasty. Um, That's not the first time that that had happened. So on this counter, this is the kitchen counter. So there is no food on the counter. You know, food would be like this right here this bottle right here but as far as food like you can pick it up and eat it or something can get to it no food is on the counter actually let me stop sharing this so that y'all can see me back again so there's no food on the counter the counter is wiped down if i'm not using a clorox wipe or you know wiping it down with um, a dish towel you know if i've washed dishes but i hadn't even eaten in a few days right i hadn't eaten in a few days um when i see bugs they just throws off my appetite but even before then um, I was doing, um, it's like this detox. I went to this herbalist. Yeah, I went to this herbalist and he gave me this detox tea and I was supposed to be drinking a liter of it a day. And I was like, I don't know that it's working because I was still out of my beeswax. But then after a while, like I stopped eating, like no appetite. So when I was recording that video, I hadn't been eating anything. Like I wasn't eating any food. I didn't start eating again until actually after I got into this hotel. Um, but my body, oh man, detox. Like I'm, I'm detox. Let me eat something to see how quick I poop it out. Right? It worked. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I got my stuff from the herb man. Um, but yeah, it's it's things like that. It's the small things. Um, again, I did have some mold in my bedroom. Some mold started growing in the room, the, the second bedroom. And then right as I was about to move out, right as I was about to move out, in a small spot in the bathroom, there was mold growing. Those little bugs. So there were those bugs right there that um, I showed you. So they were on everything Every last bottle, like y'all, I had a brand new bottle of isopropyl, like rubbing alcohol. I had a brand new bottle of that that was on the counter as well, because sometimes when I'm moving, I may put bottles in one spot that I want to transfer to a different bottle, or I need to pour it out before I throw it out, like that kind of thing. And so it was just my way of arranging, but they were on the brand new freaking bottle of alcohol. And I'm like, I need to get some gloves to throw this stuff in the trash. Prior to... I want to say, I want to say it was about November-ish or early December, I had gone to um, use the soap in the kitchen. So I have a soap dispenser that's in the kitchen, a soap dispenser that's in the bathroom. And of course, I use a completely different soap to take a shower. The one in the kitchen, I had been using it, but then I was just like, where is this dust coming from? You know, because again, things that you're using shouldn't have dust. But it had dust. And I was like, what is this? And I saw that it was bugs. I was like, oh, F no. You know, and so it's just like, ugh. So I um, turned the water on to rinse it off. That wasn't good enough. You know, that that's just my first initial reaction is to turn the water on to rinse it off. And then I went to go get one of those uh, bottles of bleach. I poured that whole mamma jamma on top of that soap, like all, all of it, right? Like bleach. And I'm, yeah. Yeah, so I just, I don't know. I feel like those things were on the wall. Um, it Not this color wall, because this is like a pink wall. You probably can't see due to the sun and the lighting and stuff. But it's a, um, can you see now? Probably not, y'all. That's the bathroom door. Ooh. No, you can't see. You can't see. But bugs, they bother me. If you have OCD, the, the, uh, the OCD that I have, I don't do bugs. And then my water was messed up, right? So it's just those things that were getting to me. And then like my intuition was saying that I needed to get out of Maria. 
I needed to get out of here. And it's like, I needed to just get out, right? But it's just completely out because everything was just like, it, it was a mess. You got bugs, you got mold, you got these little bitty critter things. Like if y'all know what that stuff was in that video, put in the comment section, let me know what that mess is because that's nasty. Um, but yeah, we were bleaching the walls down, like literally taking some bleach and putting it on the walls to do that because I'm sitting there and I'm like, mommy, no, they're there. Like the bugs are there. My mom was like, my daughter is going effing crazy, you know, but she's not going to call me that. I hope not. But she did see some of the bugs that, um, that jump, those bugs that jump, she was seeing them in her bed. So they are not only on the walls, but they would get into the bed. And it was just, you know, it's just overwhelming. And so I don't know that I have heard any other, I haven't heard any other YouTubers saying that they've dealt with bugs like that. So now, remember, I don't know if I told y'all, but I was telling my family member in Kim Folk, I was just like, look, let me get to the hotel. That way my brain can get out of this condo because everything, I'm a thousand percent overwhelmed. Like, the words are not going to convey how overwhelmed I am. So I'm like, let me just get out of here. And, and once I'm in the hotel, maybe I will be able to assess and see what's going on. So the hotel that I had, I knew that I didn't want to just leave it, you know, a couple of days because I didn't know how long the deposit was going to take, you know, because I, I can get up, I can schedule something, but what if something happens and it needs to be drug out, you know, because at the end of the day, like I said, I'm not releasing that paper. They said, did you owe me 20,000 pesos until I got my 20,000 pesos? So if a sister needed to drag that ish out, I was going to drag it out, right? So I'm in a hotel and I'm able to like get more understanding and try to work with the intuition and be like, okay, so now I'm ready to, to get a better understanding of what's going on and <laughs> why is my intuition saying to get out of here and it's to get out of Merida. Okay, I got it. I can get out of Merida. And if Merida does have a mold problem, let me, let me say this. Let me say this in a different way. I'm going to say it and I'm going to say it again. If Merida has a mold problem, if Merida has a bug problem, then yes, this is not the place for me. Sister can't do it. I, this going this to mess me up mentally. And y'all will see me. I will stop eating, right? And I don't have an eating problem, but I will stop eating because I'm not about to, I'm not about to do it. It's like going to go eat at a table with somebody and you know that they don't like you. I don't, I don't want to be in your presence. Like, what is that? So let me say this. There are people who know that they can build a building a certain way and it's going to attract mold. And maybe in addition to mold, those little bitty bug thingies like that, maybe something else is is, is attracting it that, I, that I'm not aware of. So what I'm wanting to say is um, maybe there was more mold in that building that I couldn't see. Like maybe it was in the process of doing such a thing. And I know that mold, not all mold, I'm not, I'm not that, that much of a smarty person, but I feel like mold, algae, things like that, they all have things that want to eat on it, to feed on it, to be around it. So because I feel like those bugs that I showed you in that video, because I feel like those bugs were... Um, on that back wall, even though I couldn't visibly, I couldn't see them. I could only see them when they got on something on the counter. Now, mind you, I don't know if you could see the counter. That counter is black. So the counter is black and I don't like to have things on the counter. Like I may have my cast iron skillet on the, um, on the, on the cooktop, not on the counter, on the cooktop. Um, so I feel like, I feel like the Mama Jam has been there. But until I have something that they're like, oh, we can get on this, then I'm not able to see it. So I'm wondering if that is something in Merida with the way they build some of these homes. Now, when you get outside of Merida, they have new construction, right? So newer homes. And I'm wondering if they have built those in a way that are not going to be so prone to mold um, because there are ways that you can do things to capture, right? Not only capture, but um, in my bedroom, I'm gonna show y'all pictures in a different video. Um, I don't, I thought someone was on me. I'm safe. I'm in a safe place, y'all. Um, <laughs> I don't know 
if the video, if the pictures that I'm going to show y'all in, um, in another video, if they're going to show it. But in the room, in the in the upper corner, there was some like water spots. And where the water spots were up in the top part, you come all the way down the wall. And that's where the mold was. It was a, a straight line and it was in the corner, you know, where the two walls meet. It was in a corner. The other room the this is after i moved in right there was nothing that i was going to see visibly but i'm gonna try to show y'all so that you know what to look out for when i do the next video um but in the other room the window so when i moved in everything was fine when the very next day after i had moved in it rained and i just went around to go check on things that window leaked so as the rain came, the bottom seal, the bottom, the window seal, so the bottom part, it had where water would come and pool, but it's pooling in the wall, not on the window seal. You can only see it because the wall got a slight discoloration. And I mean, very slight because it's a white wall. So it was like, you know, how you can imagine, I guess, uh, if cement looked, if it was slightly wet. So that's how that wall looked. And then after a while, you started to see the effects, especially when rainy season came. So I, I just, I feel like, um, excuse me, maybe it's the construction. And with it, if it is, if it truly is the construction, then what I would say is I have seen newer homes being built outside of Merida. So outside the peripheral. Right. So, again, more information is continuing to come and I'm being in a place where I can kind of like be, you know, I don't have the food because I don't have uh, I don't got a cooktop or anything like that. So I got to get delivery or whatever. Um, and I don't trust myself to be walking like on long distances because, again, I haven't eaten in a while. So shenanigans. I'm not doing all that. OK, so, um, yeah, I'm just going to still take it a little bit at a time to see what my next steps are. I don't know what my next steps are. Um but I do, like I said, I've, I've been saying this whole time, I do love it here in Mexico. Mexico. Like I'm able to get the walls down. I'm able to do all that. But I also see how if I were to stay in Merida, Mexico, which that's what I was doing. I was going to stay in Merida, Mexico. If I continue to do that, yeah, I do see. And it wasn't the language barrier that I was dealing with in the Bahamas. It was the fact that there were no bugs that I was dealing with. Like I felt safe as far as my environment, no mold, no bugs, no nothing being in the bed with me. Y'all, there were times where I would wake up every few hours just to check my bed to make sure it wasn't in the bed with me. Like, what is that? Who does that? I'm too old. For, uh, I'm not too old for that, but I'm not trying to do that in my life. Like, ever, never, ever again. So, um, I'm going to see. I'm going to see. Like, no, again, nobody is posting about this. And I don't know if it's because... Sometimes I hyperanalyze and look and, and, and I'm more aware, more conscious, because, again, there's stuff that is in my house. Should not know dust in it. And and it was really dusty in that place. My mama would dust. Right. My mama sitting there and she's sweeping. Right. And I'm like, mommy, mommy, girl, I know you think that I ain't clean as shit. But this shit, as soon as you finish, it's going to look like you ain't done nothing. And she was just like, wait, what, huh? I was like, yeah, I think that's why a girl upstairs is always sweeping because you can sweep and you can't tell that you sweat, right? That's not normal. That's that's not normal. Something Something's not right. And I feel the, the, the gap in the bottom of the door. I covered that. Where is this stuff coming from? And so my mama was like, you know how mama's be, at least mine anyway. My mama was like, girl, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. So she went and she swept. And after she swept, she was like, what is, where did that come from? Like, I literally just swept right there. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, that's what I'm telling you, right? Like, I, I know. But imagine if you have OCD and you don't want shit on your floor. Like, I used to vacuum so I can have lines in the floor, right? Lines in my carpet. I did that every day. Like, I love lines in my carpet. I like for my footprint to be my only footprint, but I don't want my footprints for the whole week in my room. I, I don't want that. For one day is good. So yeah, it's just <clears throat> y'all like this girl right here is crazy. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. I'm really not. But I just wanted to put that out there that um be aware. And again, I don't know how to tell if those little bugs are in a space place or not. Um, but I don't appreciate them. <laughs> I don't know where they come from. I don't know what they mean. Um, but they mess with me. I I I feel like 
anytime I see a bug, I feel like my place isn't clean. So that bothers me. And then, you know, when I feel like something isn't clean, I don't want to eat. So it's, it was just a domino effect. And yeah, I can definitely see how intuition is like, girl, you got to get out of here. And it is a dire, it is an emergency because if I didn't get out and I decided to get another apartment in Merida, Mexico with that kind of thing, yo, I probably would have stopped doing videos. I'd be like, where'd she go? She fell off somewhere because yeah, I'm not, I can't do that. And so I'll be looking to see about a more modern space place, which will make me so happy because guess what, guys? That means I can still get my freaking residency, right? Like I'm I'm right here. So I haven't I haven't contacted anybody to do anything because I'm still in a I'm still in a hotel. Like who's trying to do all that? Let me let me let me find let me find some footing. So again, it's gonna be a day by day thing that I'm doing, you know, as I kind of still distress and get the um condo missness off of me. Um yeah, just just be easy. Yes, I am in a hotel. I'm not in an Airbnb because I don't want to go from one person's house to another person's house. Like I just did that for a year. Let me be in a hotel. So that way if I see something, I'm like, all right, get this shit out of here. What, what is what is this? What get that, you know, all that. So yeah. I think that's all that I want to say. It's just, you know, the bugs, y'all. I, I I did not imagine the bugs. And I wanted to bring your attention to the mold as well. And just the different things. And again, I don't know if it's because of the home that I picked. Um, I have been listening and it probably is the home that I picked. So I'm willing to stick in and, and, and give it another try, but I'm gonna still follow my intuition and not do Medida. Um, I'm not gonna do Medida, um, but I, I get it. You know, if the homes were built a certain way, you know, based on a certain time frame, then I'm going to fall into the same trap again. And I'm going to think that it's all of Merida and it's going to mess me up. So if I give a place outside of Merida a chance, then okay. And I know um, Malika, I'm going to have to tag her because I just talked, I just said her name. I know Malika said that where she was, she was dealing with um, pig mess in her water at the end of the day, guys, if I could get away from all these little bugs, like the spiders had stopped, most of the things had stopped. The spiders came back at the very end, but all the things had stopped, those little bugs that I showed you and then those hopping bugs, those things never stopped. So if I could switch one for the other and deal with pig feces, messes, stuffuses, and have somebody come treat the water, I would do that. So yeah. This, it's just, it is a mess. So again, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Guys, I'm taking this one step at a time. I am in this hotel and I'm going to figure it out. And if I can't figure it out, I'm either going to extend my hotel stay, <laughs> extend my hotel stay or, you know, go find someplace else. Um, but yeah, it, it's just, it is what it is. And I'm sharing my experiences with you because these are things that we don't know about. And if I don't talk about it, you might come into it and be like, am I the only one? But I, I'm showing you, you know, those are bugs. Those are bugs indeed. The memajamas, they were so small. Imagine if they weren't on that black cap. So there was a black cap, there was a blue cap next to it. There were different color caps, but imagine if it's something white. It's there, you can't see it. So yeah, just, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. I'm going to let you go down that rabbit hole. But just imagine all the places that those things go um, if you aren't cleaning on a regular basis. And then with me cleaning on a regular basis and they're still doing that, some it, it's got to be something. It's got to be something that they are attracted to. Um, I feel like there. I feel like I was sitting on mold, y'all. Uh, that's what I feel like. I feel like I was sitting on mold. Um, and that there was a mold problem and that's where they were coming from. Okay, there is a horn honking nonstop in the background and I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Y'all go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share. Put comments in the comment section. Let me know, for real, if you know what kind of bugs those are or how they come about, if it is a mold thing, if I'm on point or if it's like I'm way off point, it's like, girl, now you had a whole dead pig in there. And I'm like, no, I, I didn't. But I mean, let me know for real. Let me know what your thoughts are. And I'll check with y'all next time. Talk to you later. Bye, y'all. Let's push stop. Okay, bye, y'all, for real.